In this video, I'm going to show you how you can correct your client's skin tones in Photoshop 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Silvia and in this channel I talk about photography, especially high-end retouching techniques. But now, let's go to the video. Many times when you're going to retouch your client's skin, you'll notice that the skin has different tones all over her body. In a few parts of the skin, it might be a little bit more red, other parts a little bit more yellow, or maybe your client has rashes and it's very red, like uh, the, the skin is very irritated or some skin condition. Or if you are a newborn photographer, you will see a lot of difference in the skin tone of the baby. In the majority of times, that different skin colors doesn't look very good and you will want to fix it. There are many different ways to fix it. For example, you could just go get a brush here, select the color that you think that the skin looks the best and just start painting in another part of the body to have the same color. You can change the blend mode then go to color, for example, so you're already fixing the the skin color so this is one way sometimes this way can take a little bit more of time let me just erase this layer so the way that i want to correct the skin tone is by using the hue saturation tool i have this photo here where i had my friend to actually help me to build a um, catalog for my maternity clients, but she's actually not pregnant. So what we ended up doing was to use a fake belly. You can see right here, um, the skin texture is very different from this fake belly. And you can see the line right here of the, the fake belly that we were using. As you can see here, the fake belly has a different skin tone from hers it's a little bit more yellow and her skin tone is a little bit more red so this is definitely something that i want to fix when i'm working in the photos and i want to correct the skin tone so let me show you what i did for this situation i went to filter here and i created a hue saturation layer and with this hand i used this hand and clicked exactly where I want to change the color. So it is on her fake belly. So I just click on her fake belly and by pressing, I'm still holding the click. I drag my mouse or my pen. I actually use a walk on pen, but I drag everything to the right. And you can see that the saturation went all the way up. And I did that because I wanted to see all the colors that this hand is recognizing that it's matching the same color as the belly. So this hand already recognized that this color of her fake belly is on the tones reds, on the like the channel reds. And we already have some range here that we are gonna be playing with. And it's easier to see when you have all the saturation up. So I just wanna change this yellow tone that it's on her fake belly. I do not wanna change all of the other colors that's close to the colors on her fake belly. So what are we going to do is just to fix the range of red, yellow that we are playing with. So I'm gonna start removing some of the red here and I'm gonna start just refining the tone that I wanna change to fix the color of her belly. Okay, this is pretty much it. The yellow that I was seeing that was very strong, that was very different from her skin is right here in the middle. And we can see that she has a little bit of the same tone in few parts of her body because it's also selected with some yellow selection here. This means that this color is matching exactly the same color that's on her belly, on her fake belly. So what I'm going to do is just go back to the saturation to zero and let me just see the whole picture. Now what we want to do is just to fix the hue of this yellow. So I want to change the tone of the yellow here on her belly. So I'm just going to drag the hue to the left and you're going to see that it's changing. Look, it's getting more red. So let me go back to zero and I'm just going to go into what, where I think that it's good. I think that around 
too much around here is perfect and another thing that I want to do is just to remove a little bit of the saturation so I'm just gonna lower the saturation and this is perfect now the skin of her fake belly is matching her skin and if I see that before we can see that that yellow circle right here is now kind of gone and everything is matching her skin is pretty much the same color all over her body and this is very simple and easy to do and the way that I do prefer to use this than actually using the brush is because I had many photos that I needed to work on her skin because of the fake belly so now that I've done this I created the heel saturation layer I can just I can grab the layer and actually just go to the other photos and apply the same settings of the heel saturation and automatically in like not even a second less than a second her skin is perfect in this photo as well and I can just drag to another photo and just let it go and now it's perfect look how easy and fast that is if you're working with the same client and you have many photos to edit of the same client so here's before and after of this one just by using the heel saturation tab before and after let me show you the second one here's another one before and after and here's the one that we actually create the heel saturation layer so before and after this is very simple very easy now you know how to fix your client's skin color which will give your photos a better quality of work. And this is really important. If you want to charge more for your photos, click the like button if you like the result. And if you wanna know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos, check out my latest video somewhere here on the screen. And also subscribe to my channel. Every week I'm posting new content here. But for now, this is everything. Until next time.